How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. And today, just quickly going to be talking about why you shouldn't use a free proxy, because there are, of course, risks that come with free proxies. And of course, I'll talk about the alternative of a proxy, which is a VPN in this case. And I'll talk about the best three VPNs that you could use. Of course, if you're trying to use a proxy, it's because you're trying to, well, make yourself a little bit more anonymous. Maybe you're trying to privatize your data or just simply change your IP address. And I know that most of your Users on the internet have found solace in the use of web proxies as a means to access the internet anonymously. Now, the majority of these web proxies are offered for free under the term open proxies. This has partly contributed to its soaring popularity. Now, you can think of a web proxy as a computer that acts as an intermediary between your computer and a website, allowing you to anonymously browse the web. Now, whenever a user connects to a web proxy server and makes a request for a web page, the proxy responds by reaching out to the website and pulling the requested web page. It then sends it back to you and you can view the website. The advantage is that the website you go to through the proxy only sees the proxy proxy's internet address and not yours. A proxy is therefore a good way to navigate the web without revealing your real internet address to the sites you visit. However, the major problems with using free web proxies are that you may not know who is operating them. They could be cyber criminals, intelligence agencies, or a legitimate company with sinister business practices. Although a proxy server hides your identity and activities from the sites you visit, it can potentially see everything you are doing online. And of course, it doesn't really encrypt your traffic. You're simply masking yourself uh, by using somebody else's IP address and that somebody else could be using that same IP address for illicit purposes. And this raises concerns about trust. The question you should ask yourself is why would someone spend so much money setting up a web proxy only to offer it for free? Can such a business entity be trusted with your data? And the answer is simply no, because the majority of free web proxies are not secure or trustworthy. I've got a page right here that shows the analysis of 443 web proxies and only 21% are not shady. And indeed, what about the other 79%? The 79% of surveyed web proxies forced users to load web pages in the unencrypted HTTP form. Furthermore, they found in this analysis that about 16% of the analyzed web proxies modified HTML codes and another 8% modified JavaScript codes on the visited websites in order to inject ads and steal cookies. And what that means is that the majority of the operators of those proxies cannot be trusted. So is there a better alternative? Now you can use a paid proxy, but again, when you're using a proxy, you're not exactly hiding your activity. You're not encrypting your traffic. You're simply using a mask. So what you can do in this case is that instead of using a free proxy, which is a risky procedure, you can simply use a VPN and a VPN will properly encrypt your traffic because a VPN can help you hide your information from websites so that you're protected at all times using the military grade encryption and they do have no logs policies to ensure you that they do not log any identifiable information about uh, you or any other user. You've got Express, Nord and Surfshark. Of course, I've tested over a couple of dozen VPNs and I've narrowed it down to these three is the best overall with regards to the privacy policies, speed and performance, streaming and torrenting capabilities as well as security features. They all function very well and they have independently audited no logs policies and server infrastructures and what that means means is that we have independent audit reports as evidence to show as proof that they do not log any information that can be linked to a specific user. And if you'd like to learn more about what I'm talking about, be sure to check the reviews down below. These are the top three VPNs. Of course, they all vary in budgets and features, so pick and choose depending on your own situation and preferences. But you've got Express, Nord, and Surfshark. Express will focus more on privacy and anonymity. NordVPN is more of a well-rounded VPN that gives you a whole bunch of bonus features, including threat protection, which acts as a mini antivirus and a bunch of other security features such as dark web monitor and mesh net and, you know, obfuscated servers, onion over VPN, so on and so forth. And finally, Surfshark will be the best budget VPN that gets the job done at the cheapest possible cost without necessarily sacrificing any of the necessary features that you get with more premium VPNs. So again, if you guys are interested in learning more about these VPNs, you'll find the reviews down below. And if you'd like to jump straight to pricing and discounts, you'll also find these in the description. And of course, they're all covered by a 30-day money-back guarantee. So in case
case you're not satisfied with the service for whatever reason, you can simply get yourself the refund. Comment below if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.